Let's measure hip extension manual muscle testing. This is targeting the glute max. So we've again positioned our patient, uh, rather than in prone, we have our patient in this more upright position, which allows the hip to extend through a greater percentage of the available range in a gravity resisted plane of motion. So we can passively move through the range. Now you're gonna go through that same range. Okay, great, you've met the criteria four and three. We'll put you at the mid range. We have the patient holding on to the table to stabilize the pelvis and trunk. Um, foundational concept of fulcrum or stabilization counterforce, just proximal to the joint that we're testing, opposite side. We're testing the glute max, so opposite side would be anterior and proximal to the hip joint. The edge of the table creates that stabilization fulcrum. All right, you're gonna hold it right there. Don't let me move you. Hold, hold, hold. Break into flexion. We can test this in two different positions. If we extend the knee, that allows more of an equal contribution to resisting uh, my hip flexion directed force, combination of the hamstrings and also the glute max. If I flex the knee, that shifts the bias to the glute max by shortening the hamstrings and putting the hamstrings at less of a mechanical advantage to generate force.